uh, in my estimation, he was well qualified for the work that I want him to do and uh, made a recommendation to the board and the board hired him. Well, it's, well, it sounds to a lot of people like it's just payback. It's cronyism. It's the friends and family plan once again. Mr. Casey, Mr. DeGeorge, and God knows who you got in mind for the executive chef position. Well, uh, Mr. Casey and Mr. DeGeorge are not family members of, of mine, but they are excellent workers. I think they will do excellent jobs in the capacities that they've been hired for. Uh, Mr. George will be the director of communications. He's worked in that capacity for me previously. I think he'll do an excellent job. Mr. Casey uh, will work with me on the legislative agenda of the organization. So I am very comfortable with their hires. But did you even have a director of communications here before? There was not, no. So you created a job? Uh, the job was recommended, and I think it is well warranted. The, uh, is, I'm not aware of there also ever probably being a chief of staff. Uh, can you speak to the need for that and uh, why that job was created? The um, consultant that was hired by the board recommended a chief administrative officer. Um, I suggested that uh, the title chief of staff go with that. Uh, want to tighten up the uh, management in certain areas, want to be transpa more transparent in certain areas that have been a concern, uh, and really want to lean into some of the reforms uh, that people have been talking about. I think Chief of Staff can help me accomplish that. As I understand it, as a Deputy Mayor, uh, Mr. Casey basically handled day-to-day -day operations while you were like the bigger picture guy. Is that what you anticipate here? And do you think that's necessary for an organization this size? No, I think I'm going to be very, uh, very focused, very involved in day-to-day. -day. Uh, I also plan on spending uh, time in Albany, uh, focused on the legislative agenda and getting out uh, to the 17 member municipalities uh, to um, uh, make sure that their needs, their concerns are focused on. What was How the hold up with the from, board because there was restructuring, from, what was the hold up with the board because there was one restructuring resolution and then we found out that there were two more that were created today. Can you talk us through that? Um, initially the board was looking at uh, providing the CEO authority to hire uh, two positions. Uh, the board made the determination that normally the board hires officer positions. Uh, the board wanted to uh, maintain that authority and that's what the board did. Now what about the Bernadette Taylor? It was actually three positions that they wanted, uh, that you wanted control of and now that they've said they want control of. They did not mention her today, but she is earmarked for that other position that, that you indicated. So uh, there are grades of positions. I'm still learning the grades. Um, positions above a grade eight are normally hired by the board. Uh, the board makes those determinations. Positions below grade eight are hired by the CEO, and I made that decision. So, so you'll be hiring uh, Bernadette, Bernadette Taylor. Taylor? Yes, I will. When are Casey, when are Casey and DeGeorge starting? Do you know, or do you have a rough estimate? Um, or it will, yeah. Steve Casey already has a gaming license, so he can start right away. Uh, Mike DeGeorge is in the process of applying for his gaming license. How can you expect the public to believe that Steve Casey came in, took a part-time marketing job, and now all of a sudden he's the number two person in the organization when you had no knowledge of that? Well, um, first of all, there are no number ones, twos, and well, chief threes. Well, Chief he's making $190,000. That tells me that he's up there on the, pretty high on the list. Uh, and uh, the chief operating officer also makes uh, that amount of money. Yes, that's correct, yeah. And the uh, CFO makes $244,000. Uh, so uh, the pecking order is not defined that way in terms of numbers. We're going to all work together. We're going to work as uh, a team to meet the objectives of, of this organization. Uh, why are you keeping Scott Kudrowski on board? Does, and does his sexual harassment lawsuit concern you? Uh, I've had the opportunity to uh, review that matter uh, with attorneys for the organization. Uh, uh, I feel comfortable that that 
uh, matter was investigated by the board prior to my hiring, and the board made the determination uh, that um, that claim was unfounded. Uh, the board holds uh, Mr. Kajowski in high regard, uh, and uh, uh, it's certainly uh, the determination of the board of directors uh, that he is a valuable asset to the corporation.